This video was sponsored by Power Circle Clothing and Headbusters Food Company in association with Cook Up Unlimited. Cook Up! Y'all heard my sister, my son, Power. Most of the time, this is the only guess I have on him. Why is he doing that? I don't know. Boy, quit making fun of the people. Now, I hadn't heard what it said. What is, what is it? This ain't a podcast. It's not a podcast. It's not a podcast. So, this is officially episode one, so I don't really have a guess. My son, Power. This is my 
take on the difference between working and networking. All right, let's go. As y'all know, man, I spend a lot of time as an artist first, just like any other independent artist, starving artist. It's a thing we like to call paying dues, okay? And when you're paying dues and you're moving along the ranks, a lot of times, a lot of today's artists, there's no such thing as paying dues. So this is going to sound a little ancient to some of my younger artists, all my youngsters out there that's 16, 18, 20, 22, y'all just, you know, experience in life. And for those of my young artists out there, this is what paying dues is kind of like, kind of like what you guys are doing now, I'm sure. You know, you go to your local clubs and you want to get your name heard, and at the end of the day, you want to be heard and get your name out there and go to your market. And you might run into some promoters. There's a few rules and regulations and a few requirements. So you might get a couple of these, uh, you know, some of y'all like to refer to everybody as these uh, janky promoters. Alright, so this is a touchy subject for a lot of people. You know, some of my promoter homies are probably looking like, man, what should you doing? No, this ain't nothing like that. This ain't nothing to expose one side or the other. This is just the difference between working and networking. And I'm here to show my artists the difference between the two when they go to an event. Shouts out to these neighbor oranges. They're pretty good. Yeah, I said, I ain't got no etiquette. So anyway, let me paint a picture for you. Basically, what the artist got to stop doing is stop referring to every promoter that you see as either a janky promoter when things don't go your way or uh, a promoter that does bad business. Promoters, y'all should take more pride into your show. This is just some sound advice. You know, we should take, you know, if you promote a show, you should take pride in the show. Being that you should have a layout set up already. We'll, we'll talk about that in another video because right now I'm pretty sure this video is going to probably get to the 10, 12 minute mark. That's pretty long with it. Y'all don't really be watching like that. Let's keep it a down. We trying to get this watch time up, but y'all don't be watching like that, so I'm going to try to keep y'all interested enough. So I'm going to try to cut to the chase real quick. All my YouTubers out there, y'all know what's up we putting this work with these videos they don't be watching like that they don't they, won't, they just watch a few minutes of it and then bleep right past hey it's a free country i get that but listen if you want maximum effort into these videos man why don't y'all just watch them to the end man we need all your support we need you to like and subscribe and hit that notification button and we definitely need your watch time i know i do i need y'all to watch these videos i mean we got a gang of stuff you can be watching binge watch everything on here please it's free it don't cost you nothing with that being said shout out to these neighbor oranges and they good but anyway i ain't got no i ain't got no etiquette so damn this orange good but anyway red flag number one you're going to a venue right so you get with the promoter if it's about 30 40 artists so we just gonna paint a picture real quick right we'll make it real real simple real quick if you go to an event if you on the show or if you on the card and they got flyers or anything like that they promote you most of y'all you know it is what it is when you're working it up the rank so it, it this this thing varies but if you are at an event or a part of an event where there are hmm we'll, we'll just say 20 to 30 artists on the card and it's at a nightclub or a venue like that where it's only about maybe a two three hour gap chances are you are in a room or at an event that you're performing at or maybe you may or may not perform you my friend are in an event where the promoter or who are all involved are working what do i mean by working Okay, listen, we about money, man. Okay, let me see. Let me throw a couple things out. Ask yourself this. Did you have to sell tickets to get there? If they still do that, did you have to sell tickets? Or did you have to bring an X amount of people, X amount of supporters just to perform? Or, you know, it's a lot of different um, protocols, but that don't necessarily mean the promoter is a janky promoter. That just letting you know that this is a business, okay? We trying to make some money. We trying to break even. We trying to make a profit. All of the above, whatever the case may be, this is what goes on behind the scenes when and putting together an event and in order to make that thing go right you know we got to cover our costs and sometimes even on a come up as a promoter sometimes you know we necessarily don't have the network to put together a two three hundred seat extravaganza or have a crowd of a thousand people which we would love to provide for you but that comes at a cost that comes with insurance you know some places you know requires event insurance and then, you know with the pandemic going along right now that may not be such a good idea but we're gonna stick to the subject so if you're going to an event 20 30 people you at a not a networking event you are at a working event now some you might be on a car with a bunch of pay x you might have to pay a little some thumb to get on the card this is a part of the business that don't necessarily mean the promoter is a janky promoter once again that just means it's business we are working ain't nobody in here coming to see you besides the people that came for you now let's just keep that in mind so if it's a hundred people or if it's a hundred thousand people 
you know only about 10 to 15 people came to see you and you're here to impress those 100,000 or 100 to 200 people that's there, okay? Now, if you go to an event, now here's another scenario. If you go to an event where it's probably maybe no more than 12 artists or less, chances are that event is probably structured a certain type of way, whether it's a small setting or whether it's a large setting. Usually what happens is, you know, the promoters and everybody that's involved behind the scenes is hands on with everything. Um, I don't know, maybe a sound check might be involved. Maybe it might be a few meetings. Maybe it might be a few uh, scenarios where you have to get in front of a camera. Hell, either way, which is a very important thing. Number one, I encourage all artists that's out there to come up. We live in an era where everything is easy for you now. So, you know, nowadays you can, your, your camera phone will do the trick. Any, in any event, any arena, sometimes your camera phone, if you got a good high tech camera phone, you can get in a lot of places that you can't have these in. You know, if you don't have a camera or a camera guy, I mean, it's okay. It's really no excuse to not film yourself and make the most of your brand. So back to like, if you in, in a scenario where you in a, a event, 20, 30 people on the car, you know only about 15 is gonna perform and the other 15 is not, or at least a nice chunk of them are not gonna perform. Another thing, the, the, the crowd, the crowd participation is gonna be cool, give and take maybe like the first two, three hours. Like I could literally do a course on this, but we don't have that kind of time. I'm trying to do this real quick, so I'm gonna try to breeze through it. Let me just describe it, paint the picture for you. This is Business. This is all a part of the paying dues thing. You might have paid for a slot. You might have had to bring five people to come support you just to make the card. Or you might not have got charged. You maybe, you know, however you got there, it don't matter. I don't knock nobody's business practices, nor do I hate on the next man. I, I'm not a really about that, or no, I'm not here to expose nobody. It's not my business. But I'm just saying for my artists, if you find yourself in that situation, then you gotta ask, you gotta make sure, number one, you're prepared. You gotta make sure you doing everything you you supposed to do first and before you start complaining about everyone else's business practice make sure your business is intact first what I mean is number one make sure you show up on time it's pretty key when you're on the journey of being an artist being punctual is very important being professional is very important do you know how many times a lot of artists like to be fashion to be late or try to make some big interest for a bunch of people that don't even know you or let alone want to come see you if you're not a paid act I mean you really not and even if you are a paid act I think your professionalism should be, you know, it should be a reason why they pay you. Again, that's another conversation for another time. So, what you want to do is make sure you're on time. Make sure you're professional and make sure you got all your bases covered. Make sure your brand is being seen at all times. What do I mean by that? You know that little trusty camera phone or that trusty camera or you probably got a homeboy that uh, probably play around with the camera. Get a girlfriend, get a cousin, nephew, auntie, whatever, whoever you got that can hold the camera steady. Preferably a camera phone. If not, you know, if you got a little bit of a few dollars in your pocket, pay your your local videographer pay your local cameraman and pretty sure they'll get the job done at least you know it'll get done right more or less once you got that out the way now it's time to go ahead and look at the particulars number one if you're in a 2030 act event there's no sound check there's no showing up early for anything you show up late it's probably going to be a late show the time is very limited you might be on a car where a lot of people actually got a lot of supporters maybe 10 or more so you know a few other artists got about 10 or more so now you got a packed house the problem with that is they come to see who they came to see and maybe they might if you can wow them your way that's a plus which is that's not a, that's still not a, in the red that is actually a plus but you got to keep in mind nobody came to see you Otis and after they came to see who they came to see let's be honest here people y'all going to get drunk we trying to drink we trying to party try mac on some honeys or the ladies vice versa that environment is in itself should clearly tell you that this is not a place for music we hit a this is a club night this is getting the the event is getting a you know the approach that's being taken is like a club night because we we make we work it we make it money we need you for the entertainment yeah we told y'all it was a showcase but this not a showcase we trying to pack the house we trying to sell these drinks we trying to pack this house we trying to make our money and most importantly bring back some replay value but like i said i'm not here to give tips i'm not an expert or anything like that this is just my opinion from a bird's eye view that's it my opinion from the raptors you don't have to take nothing i said or whatever the case may be but artists you might want to go with that but i'm gonna go ahead and cut this 
this video off right here. We're gonna probably do a part two to this discussion. Let me know in the comments, man, if y'all if y'all agree with anything I just said, anything you wanna add, any suggestions or anything like that. I, I definitely appreciate it. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit that notification button. Um, the background music you probably hearing right now is from the good folks that cook up unlimited. You know what I'm saying? I, I stay on deck. You dig? Y'all already know what the link read with that. You know, artists holler at me. Hit the business email if you need anything. We'll probably work something out. Um, we all about business over here. Um, number one, shouts out to the good folks at Hair Busters Food Company. As a matter of fact, maybe the next episode, I actually show you the product that we're getting ready to launch and get ready to put on the market. Website coming soon. Follow me on all platforms at TFE Boss. Um, make sure, again, once again, make sure you like, subscribe, hit that notification button, tell a friend. Please watch the videos all the way to the end. Even the music videos. Even if you don't like them, hell, just let them rock. We need that watch time. We need the, we need as much love and support and subscribers as I can get and if you give me that I could definitely give it back to you you know what I'm saying so like I said we are embarking on this journey this is not a podcast this not a podcast okay y'all heard my son come on one more time this not a podcast exactly so this is not a podcast I ain't got no fancy intro I ain't got none of that we just get right to it you never know what you're gonna see you might you know most of the time this is my downtime when I'm not editing or if I'm not filming videos or if I'm not making no beats this is what I like to do. I think I finally found my outlet where I can express myself freely. You know, I was going to do a podcast, but I'm like, man, that is just too much. I ain't got time to be interviewing people all the time. I, I do a lot of my damn self. So, as always, keep God first, stay sucker free, and by all means, get to the money. God bless you. Peace and love. Stay healthy.